When the British arrived in central Uganda, they found a complex system of kingdoms which dominated the hilly region that would later be known as Kampala. British officials realised that the Bugandan system had a political and social structure which was concordant with the British Empire's system of rule. So they made a deal with the Bugandans to spread their system across the lands, trying to unify 56 different tribal groups under the banner of Uganda. Well, here in Mbale, home of the Bigisu people, that subcolonial rule was met with resistance. Officials were killed and the houses were burnt down. Eventually though, this place would become the central administrative area for Eastern Uganda in the empire. Today, I'm gonna to go and explore the traditional homelands of the Bigisu people, which is on the now extinct volcano of Mount Elgon. So, let's have it. So I've actually come to Ambale's old railway station, which was built by the British in an attempt to bring new settlers to the area. That never quite panned out, but what this station did do was provide opportunities for the locals to sell the cash crops to the world. See, this station connects all the way to Mombasa on the coast of Kenya. So people set up coffee and tea companies, and then they ship their goods all the way to the coast and ship them worldwide. One of the companies that was built, the Bagisu Cooperative Unit, that was built in the 50s, still runs today and is a major part of the economy here in this area. But for now, let's go check out this old station. Here you've got the booking, it's for second class bookings, you've got your parcel and your luggage. It's actually been used as an office at the moment for other companies. But here you would come for your first class, two tickets to Umbasa, please, and then on your way, all the way to the coast of Kenya. Yeah, they are making a new line. Ah. This was the old line, mm -hmm. so they uprooted. So now they are fixing a new one. Very cool. Who's funding it? Is it coming from the Chinese or is it? Yeah, from the oh, Chinese. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know when it's meant to be finished? It is going to take three years. Three years? Okay. Yeah, three years contract, but they, they asked for two years. Mm -hmm. But in actual senses, those are three years. Is okay. it passenger train? Yeah, passenger and cargo. Very cool. This line was there long, long ago, so like some 30 years back. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it hasn't been working for about 30 years? After 30 years, it has not been working. Total revamping, bringing it back to life. In London, we support teams like Arsenal. Oh, you're an Arsenal fan? Yeah. You need to start watching Middlesbrough. Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? Who do you support? These people want also to go and join us now. Uh, Arsenal? Yeah, how, uh, how, how can they join? Yeah. They have to be good. He's good as Saka. Yeah, they yeah. want to be like, Saka. They want to be like, <laughs> they have the talent of uh, becoming like uh, like uh, Diego Maradona and Messi. <laughs> Are you the future Maradona? Yeah. Yeah. They, they also oh, we discovered a talent. <laughs> <laughs> they admire if, if the ball would have been there, they would have showed something for you. <laughs> so that guy had just told me that those kids could be the future stars of football if only they had one to play with. So it's given me an idea. Let's go buy a ball. Right, you wouldn't believe this. I've actually been in Mbale for a couple of days and it has been bone dry, it's been scorching. But as soon as I finished my intro, thunderstorms started clapping above the mountain and now you can see how gray and misty it looks, which is bloody typical lately, let me tell you. But we're gonna go up there anyway. Hi boss, can I please go to the, the clock tower? Clock tower? Yes, please. Yes. All right, let's do it. How much? That's two. How much? Two thousand. How much? Two thousand. Two thousand. Let's do it, boss. Thank you. Now we're coming into the business centre of Mbale. You can see it's really busy. And again, just like the other places I've been in Ginger and Kampala, this place is absolutely immaculate. Yeah, anywhere here would do, Robert. Thank you. 
Bye for me. Is that you? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay. Right, we're in the town. Let's go find a footballer. Hopefully, this rain cloud will pass, but it doesn't look likely. Yeah, so this is the King George Clock Tower, and you can see the coffee beans at the top represent the cash crop, which is central to the economy here. Right, get across this roundabout while we have time. Operations here. So all these buildings which are above me, they're actually built by the Indians that will come over to build the railway. Then they stayed and set up all their businesses here. So you can see at the front of them, ah, uh, some of them, not this one, but this one here, we have the, the Gidha building, built in 1939. Most of the Indians were chased away essentially when Idi Amin came into power and he wanted to give out the businesses to the locals, to the Ugandans. Many Ugandans, it's a controversial point, but many Ugandans think his heart was in the right place, despite it being almost ethno, ethno racially motivated. But a lot of Ugandans do think his heart was in the right place by trying to give the power of the economy back to the local people. So this is where we're going, the Mbali Sports Centre. Let's get a football. Here we go, the shops up here. No, it's the coffees or wheels or what? How are we doing, guys? How are we doing, boss? I would like to buy, please, your most reasonably priced football. Yep. How much is this? 50. 50? Will you go lower? There's some of 45, but they're much smaller. Okay. Okay. Which one? These ones? No, the other one. What time do you buy? This one. Yes. This one. Three. How much is this one? 45. 45. Yeah. I'll take the one. Will you do the big one for 40? Not allowed to. You're not allowed to. It's a fixed price. Not really, but the balls of uh, 150, 200, they are sold in Bali. I stop only. Got the Ugandan socks. Pretty smart, despite it being pink. I thought these guys weren't as progressive as that. Boss, let me ask the most pointless question I've probably ever asked in my life. Do you sell a Middlesbrough top? What is that? What is that? Middlesbrough, the finest team in football. You don't sell the top. I haven't watched a football game in 10 years. Okay, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong job, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to play football. Then, yeah? then uh, my arm broke. It was my fault. Please back it. Yeah. Then I stopped. Since then, I haven't watched a game. Okay, fair enough. Well, if you do, you need to start watching the borough. Right, we've got ourselves a brine ball. Go spread the game to the mountain. Right, football acquired. But if you notice, in the distance, the mountain has disappeared. It should be clear in your view there. So I'm in two minds about whether I should venture up there today. Because firstly, there's going to be no people around. And I don't know how likely it is one of these bikes is going to get all the way up. But anyway, you might have noticed that the shopkeeper in there was actually Indian. Once Idi Amin got rid of the Indians, who essentially ran the economy at the time, the economy crashed and it suffered for many years. But in the 1970s, lots of the relatives of the Indians that were basically booted out were invited back in to take over some businesses and give a boost to the economy again. Right, this oh, is so dusty. I'm going to have to get some glasses as well. <laughs> this is a bloody nightmare. Oh well, right. We're going to sit it out for an hour. Let's see what happens. I'll show you my hotel that I'm staying in because I'm staying in the Hilltop View. Leading Nora. Oh. Right, so here it is. And this has been 30,000 Ugandan shillings a night. Ignore the mess. But can't complain at this. Again, mozzie net. Actually, there's no mozzies up here. We're at a bit, uh, bit of a higher altitude. But yeah, can't complain. Really nice shower and the heater actually worked. I had my first hot shower in about three weeks today. So, but yeah, there's the bog. No squatting in here. Can't complain. The electricity has been a bit funny. The internet's okay, but all in all, decent hotel. And here is the view of Mbali. Let's get this and have a proper look. Uh, the rains didn't stop last night until late into the afternoon. 
afternoon. So we're trying again this morning to traverse the mountainside of Mount Elgon, the traditional homeland of the Bugisu people. With me today I've got my jacket because it looks like there's another storm cloud brewing. But I've also brought a football with me because one of the main criticisms I've had on this channel since I came to Africa is that because of my fair skin I am somehow a colonizer. Well, today I'm going to prove those guys right because when the Christian missionaries would come to Africa when they were spreading their ideology across the world they would offer education and medicine to the locals but on the condition that they converted into Christianity. Well, today I'm going to go give my football to some kids or local people on the condition that they start to follow my football team, the Mighty Bora. Let's have it. You got some kids playing the footy there. There's no doubt that they support Arsenal, Manchester United, City, or one of the other big teams, maybe Liverpool. Even Newcastle seems to be very popular lately. Bloody shame. of action for the day is we're getting a lift up to Wanali Ridge and then from there we're going to walk down and meet the locals as we come all the way back into the city centre. Oh, wow look at this. There's absolutely no wonder why the local Bagisu culture believe that there's gods that reside in these mountains. So we've stopped on the mountain top because we've gone the wrong way. We're going to have to go back on ourselves a little bit. And then the walk back down is going to be about four hours. But we're just waiting for Johnny to have his wee. And then we're going to head back into it. So this is where we are at the minute. And that storm is definitely coming. Oh, we're having an absolute navigational nightmare. Everyone's telling us different directions. Trying to go to Wanali Ridge. Yeah. Oh, it's up here. We've got out. Oh, okay. How far is it to walk? Yes. Is it walkable? Yes. Yeah. How far? How long? Yeah. Oh, it's that way. Okay. This is how often people come here. No one really knows where it is. Okay. We'll just keep going. As soon as I see the waterfall, Johnny, that's cool. We'll just keep going straight. Yeah? Oh, don't tell me we've broke down. Cheers, guys. Yes. So we stopped in this little village for help. <laughs> but we're just going to have to keep going. It looks like we're going to have to cancel getting right up close to the ridge that I wanted to go. So hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up from a distance. It's, uh, 20, yeah? Yes. Okay, mate. Right, okay. all the best. Okay. So we have parted company with Johnny and we've had a, a nightmare trying to find this waterfall, but this feels like as good a place to start the journey as anywhere else. Take a look at this. So we're about to pass through our first village on this little hike down the mountain and hopefully things have changed in the last 150 years or so because the Arabs actually had trade routes around this area for hundreds of years prior to European colonization but they had very little interaction with the Bagisu people because they were seen to be fierce ferocious warriors and they didn't want to basically connect with anyone else so fingers crossed it's not like that now as I walk through the village on my lonesome. I'll try what you're doing. <laughs> what are you cutting? <laughs> Give me an example, go on. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Watch your feet, man. You're I'm scared to go then, let me try. <laughs> you want to hold it? I'll try. I'm trying, I'm trying, yeah, yeah. Why do you need the wood? For fire? Yes, okay. we are going to cook. Oh, okay, give mm -hmm. me a try. Show them fall down this hill. Yeah. I've got a terrible aim. Come on, you get back in there. <laughs> Stand up there laughing at me. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, girls. Right, I'll see you later on, guys.
Okay, thank you. It is. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was hard work. One thing I'm certainly realizing since I started coming out into the wilderness is I am not cut out for it. I am a terrible bloke. Is this a shop? Where did I go? Oh, I thought it was a home. Do they have any water? Yeah, any water? Yeah. We're drinking. Drinking for water, yeah. I made them about. Where's it? Yeah, sit there. You have some? Yeah, sit there. Oh, perfect. Can I have a, one bottle of water, please? <laughs> what have you just got yourself? Uh, What's this? This is my posho. Uh, posho? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. For a big feed. Yes. Keep the muscles fed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the shop's got everything in here. Thank you very much, boss. Yeah. You going home to cook? Yes. Or are you getting your wife to cook? Myself, not wife. Oh, just on your own? <laughs> ah. Uh, me, I'm still, I'm, still, I'm still single. Oh, why? What's going on? <laughs> I'm still single. Even you are still even if I Yeah, of course I'm still single. But I mean, what are you? Why are you still single? Good looking man. <laughs> Strong, muscular. <laughs> 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 why does no women want you? What's happening? Hmm? Why is no women? Your well, wife yet? Not yet. Not yet? Mm. Have you got your eye on anyone? As we go slowly, slowly. Go slowly? Yeah, I'm still planning for... Okay. Yeah. How is life? I have not go to good because... I would, I, would, I would have married because... That is the reason I'm not that happy to go Okay. And because yeah, I'm still planning slowly, slowly. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I get capital, then I start. Then I marry. Once you have some money, mm. yeah, they can provide. Uh -huh. Ah, we've come across some boys playing football on the field. Man you. <laughs> you man you. Yes. Oh, that's why you missed the shot. And Manchester City. Manchester City. What about Middlesbrough? Yeah, Arsenal. What about Middlesbrough? Yeah. What about Middlesbrough? Holland. Middlesbrough. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, bleeding heck. Yeah! Yeah? That was a mile over. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give you this ball. Yes! Right, but... Yes! First... Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I need you just to shout mm. one thing for me and you need to promise that you're going to support Middlesbrough yeah. yes. forever. Yes. No more Arsenal. Mm. No more Chelsea. Yes. No more Man United. Yes. Just Middlesbrough. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Just Middlesbrough. No more Man United. It's just Middlesbrough, so you have to shout up the borough. Yeah? yeah. So when I say one, two, three, you shout up the borough. Um, yeah? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Up up the the no, you have to shout it with passion. Come on. Okay. Up the borough. Shout it. Up the borough. <laughs> like that. Yeah? Yes. One, two, three. Up the borough. Oh, come on, louder. Up the borough. Come on, more. Up the yeah, come on, two more. Up the borough! Louder! Up the borough! Yeah, that's it, go on. <laughs> We've got some new borough fans in Uganda. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're okay, mate. Yeah. You have to make sure they stay a borough fan, though. Yeah. You can't be telling me you're borough fans and then they walk around the corner and you're not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, ah, is that Bob Marley? Yeah. Nice, man. Thank you, man. No, you're good. Enjoy. Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. So we've got some new Bora fans in Uganda. Success! Huzzah! Now we're going to continue walking down the mountain. I need to get some food. Wow. Oh, so this is the coffee seeds? This is coffee. Oh, wow. Mm. It smells so nice. Mm. It's fresh. So, and you, how does it work? That smells incredibly fresh. How are we doing? Oh, you look scary with the knife. <laughs> I'm more scared of you with the weapon. <laughs> so what happens now, after this? Then we get coffee tea. Coffee tea, yep. Yeah. So what, is this crushing this out? I uh, don't know, no. this is the... This is the waste? Rubbish, yeah, okay. So what, do you have the seeds? Or is there something inside? Mm. Let's see. 
Oh, so there's the, the coffee beans. Yeah. Ah, fresh. Fresh. Very nice. And then did you, do you sell them in the city? And then we sell them. Very nice. Wow. Wow. Is this cup of tea? Oh, what's this? A cow's head? Yeah. Is that dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and what have you got on here? A cup of tea? Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. You're going to need it when it gets cold from the rain. Mm. <laughs> How are we doing? But what is this? 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 this, this, this the the this. tattoo? Eh? Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. Hey. It's uh, patterns. Hey. Yeah. You look very nice. Good. Oh, good. thank you very much. Hey. But oh. I'm hungry. Oh, you're Buy cooking. You have the big cow. Uh -huh. Buy for me chapata and I eat. I'm How much is a chapate? Hmm? Oh, you don't have to give me the sad face. Give How much is a chapate? One thousand. <laughs> One thousand. That is an expensive chapate. Mm -hmm. I want some zandonoli and I okay. buy chapati. Okay, I'll have. I eat. Can we have a chapati? Mm. And I'll. Is this a cup of tea, yeah? Mm. And I'll have a cup of tea as well. Mm. Right, so we've got. Thank you. For the chapati, yeah? yeah? And for my chai, yeah? yeah? Thank you okay. very much. Thank you very no, much. Okay. Yes. No, you don't, you don't have to do that. Thank you. <laughs> So this taking a knee thing is like a mark of respect that people do. They usually do it to the elders, but I think it's just because I've given something, so that's why it happened there. <laughs> oh, troops! Hard at work! <laughs> so we take a seat in here. The boys are eating. How are we doing, guys? Doing fine. No, you're okay. I'll just sit there, bud. And you are from here? Yeah, I'm from just yeah, from this area. Very nice. How old are you? Huh? What's your age? My age. Mm. I'm 20 and above. 20 and above? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know a year? Like 24, 25? Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Above there. About there. How has life changed on the mountain since you were a young girl? That is not a good life. Up here, mm. not a good life. Yeah, yeah a lot of poverty, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. People are poor. Mm. We are we poor. Have to eat. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We don't lot know. of poverty. We don't have money. Mm -hmm. mm. We are poor. Has she seen progress yes. to life yes. improving yes. here? Yes. Or not? She is not. Yes. No. It's always just a constant struggle. Yeah, since she was born. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very now satisfied. <laughs> I'm now in the good life now. Okay. I'm okay now. I'm glad to hear it. I drink to that. <laughs> right, my first sip of the chai. Oh, it's still so hot, but it's delicious. This is fresh from the mountain, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Delicious. Mm. Thank you. Mm. What's the uh, the Bagisu word for delicious? <laughs> <laughs> it will be difficult for you to understand it. Come, I'll try. One try. I am the worst linguist in the world, so I warn you, it's not going to be good. Oh, what delicious? Called shirai. Shirai. Yeah, shirai. Shirai. <laughs> Is that right? Shirai. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Shirai. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> your your generation and your generation, sir. Do you believe in Pakistu culture? Or is it more Christianity, Islam? You know now, now most people this way have changed. Mm -hmm. They follow Christianity, which was brought by the missionary, mm -hmm. and some follow Islam, which was brought by Arabs. Mm -hmm. Now there is no belief of the Bagisu okay. culture, like in praising God. How do you feel about traditional culture from the local people, from the Bagisu people who from the mountain, how do you feel about another religion like Islam coming here or Christianity mm. and changing people's beliefs? People this way, you know, I seen, huh? now when those people came, they told them, you know, when they came this way, people had no like religion, mm -hmm. people were just there. Hmm? When they don't know even God, 
that just there and they came with like the Bible and the Quran, mm -hmm. told to people, and finally most people changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Thanks for the tea, it was delicious. How oh, what's the word again? <laughs> she lied. I remembered. Hey. I didn't remember, but hey, she lied. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> right, nice to meet you. Okay. What are you doing with the machete? <laughs> what are you doing with the machete? <laughs> are you trying to rob me? <laughs> <laughs> All the best, for, for, for grazing. For the grazing. For grazing and the <laughs> Okay. Cutting, cutting the, 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 the trees. On the farm? On the farm. Okay, nice to meet you, boss. All the best. <laughs> How is teaching here on the mountain? Uh, it is quite hard because sometimes the rain is too much and we come from far, so it is quite a difficult place. I was speaking to somebody up the mountain and they said that some of the biggest challenges in this area is not having access to education yes. but he also told me that some people don't value education also do you find that in your work i think that's the biggest problem with education the schools the government did some work they have put the schools as you move you can find the schools there but now the uh, the parents they have a negative attitude uh, children can come uh, very late they have to work at the first work around uh, 10 is when they come. Uh, okay. So the attitude in the community is not uh, valuing education much. Why do you think that is? Being a village, a rural area, they don't uh, attach any value to education. And is that because they have the children to work? Yes, the children have to work. Mm -hmm. Work. They only value farming. That is the main thing they think. So with education, it is it is a, it takes time. So people are not patient. They you know, wait. You educate primary, secondary. So they want quick things. That's yeah. the major problem. How much is a term, a term for a child? For a child here, depending on the class, is ten thousand. Okay. Yes. Are the children provided meals when they're in school? No, no, they are not. Most of them just stay hungry for the rest of the day until they have to go back. Maybe for few who are coming within, those mm -hmm. ones can go back and get food from home. Is that challenging as a teacher yeah, to have hungry quite children? it's challenging because you cannot teach a hungry child to not understand what you are teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, the minds will be far. Okay, thank you very much. I didn't get your name. Welcome, Teacher Calvin. Teacher Calvin, nice to meet you, I'm Joshua. Okay. All the best, Calvin. Okay. Wow, interesting. And then over the road, we have what looks like a Rastafarian homestead. Look at that. That is a cool pad. Very cool. Right, we're going to keep on walking. Ah, very Rastafarian, one love. How are we doing? Hi. I love the house. I'm very good, how are you? I'm fine. I love the one love. Hi, I'm guessing you're Rastafarian in here. Okay. <laughs> All the best, sweetheart. Okay, next time. Hello. So there we have one of many banana plantations that are on this mountainside. And although this area is mostly now Christian and Islamic because of the missionaries that did come here once upon a time, before they arrived, the Bagisu people believed in several different gods. There was the creator god, Wele, and there was a few of his, basically, sub-gods. Um, one of them was Nambande, and he was apparently the creator of humans and all food and life. He was the giver and taker of life. And he used to roam a banana plantation. And it was in the form of a big snake. Is following me making farting noises. But do you know the, the real beautiful part of where you can find? Where? This one where our falls is down there. Yeah? There is, there is where you can get a beautiful photo, seriously. Really? Yes, because from here to go there we can just use 15 minutes. 15 minutes? What, yeah. walk? Yeah, walking, yes. Down here where, where this water falls is, there is a beautiful photo is there. Cool, let's do it. What's your name? My name is Joe. George. George. Joff. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Joff. I'm Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Nice. Do you live here? 
Yes, this is my area. Ah, it's very beautiful. This is coffee. Oh, these are the coffee trees, yeah? Yeah. I've just seen someone processing coffee. Yeah. Squeezing it through the machine. This is a real Arabica coffee. Yeah. Arabica coffee? The real one, the first one, the first coffee in Africa. This one, the real one. This coffee, oh, there is some guys who came the, from uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. They was the one who came and they gave the people from the village so that it helps to plant. So when when you plant it, when it brings those coffees out, that's so that means you're going to get another seeds to give another person. Oh, so is that like a tradition now? Yeah, it's now our tradition. And this is this is what we we use to plant and this is what we trust that we have to plant this one so that we can get good money that we what we need. Mm -hmm. But Everything is like our bananas, like our tomatoes, it's just nothing. We just get something little. But this coffee is the one who made us to grow since we're still young. If this coffee is the one who made us our father who made our father to grow up right now. Okay, so this is the main way that people make their money. Yeah, here in Gishu region. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing the washing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> right, we're getting across. This area is a dream come true for you if you're a kid and you wanted to build a base. Look at this. I'm struggling with trainers and Joff the man is in his flip flops. <laughs> so you're now looking at the biggest white cock in all of Africa. And I don't mean me, what I mean is this ridge. The Nokoko Juro Ridge, which translates, I murdered that pronunciation, but it translates to the white cock. And it gets its name from a man that would only rear white cocks above here. But take a look, it's absolutely spectacular. And then there is the view of Mbale. This is the place I was trying to get to this morning with Johnny, but we got lost. And now it's time to make our way back down. So just on the rooftop there, you can see the little solar panel. I just found out that here there is no, no one really has internet up here. So there's still no internet and electricity is, the only electricity that people have are powered through these tiny solar panels here. So people mostly use, uh, buy candlelight at night or using paraffin burners. Yeah. Village life sounds romantic until you haven't got the internet in your pocket and the light switch and hot water. <laughs> the Bumboy Parish of Mbale. It's a very progressive name for a church, as Harold Boulder might say. So I know I said I was going to hike all the way back down, but I wasn't expecting to hike up to the waterfall. And I realized with the rain yesterday, I didn't really get to show off what the town looked like. So I'm gonna head there now, go have my first sip of a Ugandan beer to celebrate converting the kids into new Bora fans up on the mountain. And then we'll grab some food from some street vendors. At the next opportunity, I'm gonna jump on the back of a bike because I'm bloody shattered. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Right, so we're back in Mbale Centre and I've just freshened up and dropped my bag off and now we're going to go grab our first Ugandan beer. It's a pub on this corner. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
And it's pretty busy down here. I haven't seen this place yet. There's all sorts going on. It's like you got some dream catches up there, but I don't think that's what they are. We've got a big market with shops and clothes down there. Let's have a little walk. I haven't seen this place yet, so this is all new to me. There we go then. It doesn't look like there's anyone to find booze here. Hmm. We find Arsenal tops, city tops, obviously no borough tops. Yes. How are we doing, sir? Ah, no, I'm looking for Middlesbrough. Yeah. A Middlesbrough top. Yeah. But there's none. Hey, when yeah. Even this one ah. also good. Ah, I know, but it's not Middlesbrough. I don't know who it is. I'm looking for. Do you know where there's a bar? To have a nice beer. <laughs> I want to try a nice Ugandan beer. I haven't had one yet. Where are you from? I'm from England. England. Yes. Uh, which is team for support for Middlesbrough? Middlesbrough. Uh, which borough? Middlesbrough. Ah, which borough? Nobody's heard of them. Yeah. So that's why I want a beer. <laughs> it's stressing me out that there's no Middlesbrough fans here. Premier League. No, not yet. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yes. Why Chelsea? Why? Yes, Come on, explain yourself. Why? <laughs> the, the good teams. Okay, you like the good teams. Yeah. You like the winners. Yeah. You don't like the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where can I find the nice beer box? Yeah. This way, yeah? yeah? Okay. Thanks very much. Right, see you later on. <laughs> I don't know if those Mazungos have a bad reputation here, but as soon as I said I wanted a beer, he started laughing like bloody typical white man. Anyway, how are we doing, boss? All right. Wow. It's narrow. I'm busy. How are we doing? <laughs> We're doing fine. Why? You know now we are selling this second-hand clothes, eh? Yeah. But it's the president of Uganda said that we don't know this second hand clothes. The and president? Yeah. What Uganda, did he say? Of Uganda. What? To not sell them? Yeah, not to sell this. Why? In Uganda. I don't understand that. Why? It's business, isn't it? Yeah. No, for us, like we are bomba chira shit, dad. Yeah. So, you know, a thousand people of Uganda putting on second-hand clothing. Mm -hmm. But the president of Uganda say there's no cause to sell second-hand clothing. So how else are people going to make business? Now people are now, now complaining, like young generation, like you understand, we are now complaining. How can we just make that stuff to be there in Uganda? You understand? Yeah. Because a thousand people in Uganda, they are, they are using this stuff. Yeah. Second in clothes. But now in Uganda, they don't want it. I don't know now how to say because yeah. our president of Uganda said that. Mm -hmm. At least let him just make us to be do what? To do. Because when I get some 2,000, I'm going to feed my family. That's so when, it. when there's no business, what do you expect me to do? Yeah. You don't need the government interfering in your in yeah. your business. Exactly. Yeah, of course. So we are to, so please just beg the president of Uganda, the government just to say us just to leave us, just get some small money for our young people because I'm I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up kids. So how will I feed my kids? Nice to meet you, boss. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the best. Have a good day, boys. Yeah, yeah. Nice people here. Very nice people. How are we doing? How are you doing? Long time. Ah, I remember you. Where from? You? From Busamaga. You used to stay in Busamaga? No, no, I've just... Ah, just arrived are right you now? trying to say we all look the same? Yeah, you look the same. Ah, ah, gay, yeah. ah, there's a word for that. I remember you, I remember you. <laughs> How are we doing, boss? No, I never lived there. It used to be this town. Different. No, it's Is it true? Different. No, it's different. Show me the camera. Yeah, there we go. I'm there, this is Uganda. We're in Bali kicking with a white man here with me. Feel me. I'm filming, I'm filming. Yeah, you good? Nice one, boss. Yeah. Brother, where is somewhere I can have a beer? A bar. Yeah. How's life in Uganda? Ah, I love it here so far. Very nice. What's your mission in Uganda? Uh, to come and where? try and show videos and show the world. I admired you. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah. Hey, it doesn't look like you admire me. It looks like you want to fight me. No, she's just admiring <laughs> you. Oh, okay. We can admire each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I thought that was a swastika for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's a simple bag. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. How are we doing, boss? 
But you have come, you're going to teach me about Wall Street. About what? Wall Street. Wall Street? Yes. I wish I knew about Wall Street. You know about Wall Street? I have no idea. If I did, what? I wouldn't be walking around with a camera trying to make money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're right. <laughs> so, which is the finest Ugandan beer? Or is there a specific beer from Mbale? Nile Special. Nile Special? Yes. I have a Nile Special. Would you like a Nile Special? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, so we have two Nile Specials, please. What about me? Oh, you're the barman. You're drinking on the job. <laughs> you're drinking on the job. I don't drink on the job. Oh, you just asked for a beer, haven't you? I Go on, we'll have three, three yeah. Nile Specials, what, what, please. My brother. Yeah, my brother. Oh, here we go. We have a four. Okay. Thank you, sir. Where? How much is one? Hmm? How much is it for one? Three five. Three five. Three five. Okay, yeah. In shillings, not dollars. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> Have a very nice view here. Oy. Look at this for a rooftop bar. Uh, this, uh, this that, that, uh, that yeah, water, the waterfall. That water. Yeah, that's eh? where it was today. We yeah. that poster. Eh? Yeah. Poster. That poster. Up there, poster. This poster. waterfall. Poster, uh, near, near here. Yeah, this one. That one. This, this side. I didn't go to this side. <laughs> I stayed <laughs> underneath. Uh, have you seen me? I've seen from there. Oh, you're up uh, there. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's the, where the pole is. Where the pole is, yeah. Uh -huh. Are you here to work? Uh, is that why you're uh, here then? You come uh, here for your work and then you live uh, up there? Up there. Yes, okay. Uh. What do you do for work? I don't have a job. I'm a jobless. Okay, so you just come hustle. Uh, hustle. Jobless. But it okay. says shoes. Okay. Mm. Right, well, cheers, boys, anyway. Mm. Cheers. Because our colonials were mm -hmm. British. British. Mm -hmm. That's why you see Uganda is. Life for you, you're American. No, I'm English. English. I'm British. I'm here because of the empire. Yeah. I've come to see what life is like in the countries that we left. We come, we come with us. Why is Britain supporting Ukraine? Don't you know. tell me. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you ask him. Why does Uganda? Why does Uganda? Does Uganda support Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Is Uganda supporting Ukraine or Russia? We, we go to Russia. Okay. Yeah, is that the people or the government? It is the government. Yeah. government. Okay, what about the people? Who Even cares? The people. the people are open minded. They don't yeah. want people to die. I think this is the same at home. Mm. The government supports Ukraine, but most people don't care. Yeah. They, don't, they just don't want people to be at war. In fact. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're yeah. going to have our first sip of a Nile special. Yeah, man. Here we go. Down. Cheers, Nile's guys. Cheers. We like the, our country. Our country is so free. If you like to you, it's very, like very nice. Oh, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this was three and a half thousand, yeah? Yeah. Well worth it. If you get time, you come and relax from here. Ah, it's a good beer. Yeah. He's a legend. He's a legend. From yeah. the 90s, this, this boy here. If I give you my whips of my keys, and I see your darling crawling, I feel ee ee If I give you my whips of my key, 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 and I see your darling calling, I feel ee he ee he. If I give you my whips of my keys, and I see your darling calling, I feel ee he ee he. Da -da 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 I believe that the empire is still running Go now, though, now you're getting messy although people have a negative attitude but mm -hmm. but even at the end of the day the the government turns back to the empire because there is that special attachment but some of us who are, who are not into politics we do not mind much about what is going on we mm -hmm. just enjoy and we take life as it is Picture of my because friend. we have families to take care of Lot of people. Yeah, I get a good it's sense in Uganda that people are willing to take responsibility for their life. Many people will say, that is it. they don't like to blame other people. They say, this is on us, this, we've got to work hard. So really the politics isn't important for a lot of people. Like when you fighting to survive, who cares about the politics as long as you can make money. As long as we plan how we can be, mm -hmm. live on. These are my sons. <laughs> Your sons, you're about the same age. Yeah. It's man here. He's older than we. No. But he has 20 kids. 20? 20. 20. 20. So in England, where are you from? He's 45 years. How many? 45. How many women do you have? One. I know. Four. Ah, there we go. That's more like the truth. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> he has many. <laughs> On the camera, you look at me, Africa. Bali, we are here. Bali in Steve. Bali city Steve. with Joshua. Joshua. Love the city. Make this for an advert. Yeah. <laughs> Go on this then. Is African beer. Who is it? Club. Are they good? Are they decent? Yeah. Are they listening? Club. Club beer. 
test fully different. And Joseph is taking <laughs> Nile, the Nile, the Nile. Even just <laughs> to <laughs> picture this. Picture this. What's the t-shirt? I love my culture. Oh, my culture. Uh -huh. Bama Saba. Bama Saba. Bama Saba. Okay. Take this photo. <laughs> I'm the one. Take Bama Saba. You remember? Yeah. You remember? You yeah. remember? Yeah. Just cut like this. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I just cut like this. He's taking. He's telling about culture now. Yeah, my yeah. culture. This is my culture. Bama Saba. If you just cut, if you have find my brother there in the, your place there. The Bama Saba are there. Eh? He come says, I saw the man in the bad district, bad city. Mm -hmm. I find him. I was talking like this, like he, he, he came with me. He just cut like this. Bakarim <laughs> Palu. This, no this, 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 this thing, this yeah. thing up here. You have to ignore yeah. the pain. Hey, just cut yeah. and remove this thing. And it will be like this. Have you seen? Do you know the way they come? The way, the way they come, eh? Yeah. What a man I show the way they come. If you are going to circumcise you, just do this, you do this, you do this, and you come like this. Oh, you get like this. Oh. Then they circumcise you. <laughs> they just catch like no, this. Let me show you. They catch, catch like this. I catch like this. I just catch like this. I do like this. If I just do like the man like this, eh? I just do the knife, I don't have the knife here. I have my <laughs> you my don't have to do it. I can imagine the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to witness the yeah. Mbula. I know, but they know they circumcise. They know they circumcise. In a moment. They know they circumcise. He's going to show you a real stuff. Bama Saba. Bama Saba. wanted to see about the female culture. Yeah. Female culture. Come on, dance. Oh, well, what's she doing now? Jango, Jango. Oh, Johnny. 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 She's a oh, suffragette. She's a suffragette. Oh, she. <laughs> she's a suffragette. Tori bakuru tutambula tete. Tori bato tutambula tete. Tori bakuru tutambula tete. Kamba some, kamba gambe, kamba buride. Yama. Nice one. Tori bato tutambula tete. Tori bakuru tutambula tete. Tori bato tutambula tete. Tori bakuru tutambula tete. Boy, 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 just a rolling your money way, mama. So personally, mm. I'm not religious because I couldn't, I feel like I couldn't assign myself to somebody else's version of God. Mm. So if I'm receiving information, I know people say it comes from wherever, if I'm receiving information from outside through stories that people are telling me, mm. that's, that to me is somebody else's God. So you're so proud of your culture. Yeah. How do you feel about Christianity and Islam coming yeah. here? What about the Bamasaba gods? How do you feel about those? In the old Bamasaba gods, mm -hmm. what they were before Islam, mm -hmm. before Christianity, uh -huh. what what gods are they? What are the what are the gods from your culture? Uh -huh. You talk about the gods. Yeah, not not the circumcision. What are the gods? That's the gods. That no one can really That's tell you. It's called a tradition before all the gods and all okay, the tradition before Christianity and Islam. Mm -hmm. These are guys who are born in uh, this uh, seven era. Mm -hmm. They can't tell you anything about that. Okay, what they're doing right now, they follow their real culture of the, the gods the that they had. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that god they had, they came with it that circumcision is better. better. So that's something that's came through, yeah, that yeah. remains from the previous yeah. culture. Mm -hmm. And to what, you can't, you can't stop. You can't stop. For real, we have to get circumcised. Viva mm Masaba. -hmm. My culture. This is my culture. <laughs> this is my culture. So much pride. Yes. Nice. And if you're not circumcised, although you die, you have to be circumcised. 
Yeah, yeah. When you yeah. get married, yeah. they have yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have to circumcise before we mar we bury you. We bury you. And that's how culture. You, know you die. You had gone for exile. When you came back, why is it so important? To we, you have to be a very clean man. Yeah. Clean man. Men has to be clean because men go for jungles. Mm -hmm. They take time to bathe <laughs> in old stages. <laughs> They can have left the home. My brother, I think that, that he has was... gone to look for something to eat. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle. Those years were very many bush areas in Africa. We had the hippopotamuses, we had the lions. When you have your goat, you have to put, sleep with it inside. When a lion comes, we had no doors like right, right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, those days we had mats. Not like this kind of a house. Yeah. So let's call this a house. house. Now I'm constructed with my leaves. What I came here, I make my door here. When I enter to sleep, when a lion comes, there is no door. When there's no more fire outside, we have to make some fire like this at night. Yeah, I want to show these things in your place here. Now time has come to mm -hmm. time for sleeping. Mm -hmm. Every place is so dark. We get in with my brother. My brother. <laughs> Like we enter our house. Uh, uh, your house so when we are sleeping, mm -hmm. a lion comes. Oh, this is fire. Find this oh, this is fire. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is fire. fire. Yeah. Now for us inside, inside the house, we yeah. keep quiet. We already right. know there's a lion outside yeah. there. there. Wow. Hey. <laughs> you guys are amazing storytellers. That there are the <laughs> <best> stories. <laughs> <laughs> amazing storytellers, man. Yeah. In the years we are, we are right now, in Uganda, people are so much in wild things and are forgotten these things. You understand that, mm -hmm. Mr. Joshua? People have forgotten too much of this. They go even to the hospitals for circumcision. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to change. Can you, can you? Yeah, big, big, clear. Mm -hmm. But no. when they circumcise you from the hospital, you're not a man. You're not a man. Where men can sit and discuss their mama server what? <laughs> Problem. <laughs> this, this one. This is mama server. you guys Would really come? know. Have you ever been to Bangola Festival? No. The same from here. They put on, we call it Nyombe. Okay. Nyombe, traditional in our language. But these yeah, are these even are, in, even in your language, but in, in, in the yeah. more it's, yeah. it's called nyombe. Yeah. You, you we get these ones. We know. We get like this. Eh? Where she was? The wife. Eh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Take like this. Uh, let me show you like this. This one. Let me show you. This one leaves. Now this. It, 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 this is a musinde. He has no circumcise. Now we have no circumcise. This one. This one. Eh? If I come, I try like this. Eh? Mm -hmm. If I, I dance, I, I start to dance. I just are you a woman? Yeah. In this yeah, picture, you're doing it. I'm a man. This is how men dance. Take that. I'm a dance for It's now we are looking for someone who's not circumcised. Okay. In that season, now I come like this. I meet this one. Ha! Ah, I just say, ha. Ah. Say ma oye, oye. Say ma oye, oye. Say ma oye, oye. It's going on. Hey, look at that. What is it? Hey, that is it. Oh my God, that is amazing. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh, man. Yes, ask us about the yeah, small, the gods, the gods. We, 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 tell, we told us what about the gods. Mm -hmm. So those gods are still there. They still move. Mm. They make you at least feel weird. And the circumcision is yeah, the, yeah, the connection. Yeah, that until you have to be circumcised in this town. If I get the knife now, eh, I want to show you. The I cannot show you. If this one, where these things, but like this, they put here. Hmm? If I say like this, you put the other thing that like, like this here. Eh? I come my my knife, my 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 I come like this. Eh? Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, but, like this. Yeah, put that and see. I came. Hmm? I see like this. Eh? I just call you case get this thing, but, but this thing. I get like this. I just do like this. Hmm? Hmm? I finish. I just do like this. Hmm? Eh? Eh? Standing. You are standing like this. You can't cry. You don't what? 
Don't cry, don't cry. What happens if you cry? You are just, no, no, if you, you cry, you're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid. They will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. Look at this. Uh, shameful. Shameful. Uh, shameful. Uh, <laughs> you like that? They call you, look at this doll. <laughs> 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 He just, he just can't it. handle it. Just, getting cut a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <What a funny. laughs> they call you a bad doll. Because how can you fear circumcision? No girl will love you. I'm terrified of it. <laughs> if you don't, you don't know, you can't can say now, now, now. I have my wife. They'll call you to be a doll. No, thank you. They <laughs> <laughs> offer me yes, circumcision. We, 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 ca we come here, we'll see. Yes, sir, they call you to be a doll. come here. When you free. Next year. Maybe, maybe next year. year. Hey. Let me come. Let me see if I'm man enough next hey. year, maybe. Hey. In our women of Africa, they are there and they are so important to a man. Women, when we don't have money properly, we be closer to them. All the first time we meet with them, we so be in touch with them. To tell them I love you, I'm with you, you go and fetch firewood, you come back. You're like beginning up a family. Like you really appreciate them. Yeah. You just be beginning to make up a family. How you make up your family, how you get the first son, how you have got to some two cows. You sell Kowan, you get some money, you make a capital. Like selling over rice, over selling tomatoes, what? So time comes, you also get another job. It's so bad to leave a woman for five hours without being near her. And a woman is so important to a man because a man, you're down your woman. Because a woman, what you, a woman does to a man is a lot of, a lot of things. A woman can clean you, can feed you, can keep you to sleep so comfortably. She can tell you if you're annoyed, she can counsel you. You see that, Joshua? Mm -hmm. So a woman is important to any man, wherever he is, a woman is important to you. Right, I want to get some food from between some of these buildings in here. I've seen the, the food, the street food market up there the last few days, so I want to go check it out. <laughs> so we're about to get a lesson in what it's like it's to be about, a woman in Mbale. It's about hustling. You have to hustle. You wake up very early in the morning, we go at the place of work, call customers. We say, Karibu, Karibu, Nyambo, Laba, we have Katamara, we have nice things, we have a look. Yeah, so it's a beauty shop. Yeah, you, have you come here make yourself look beautiful. Uh -huh. Is that a responsibility? Yes. Yeah. Come check on us. Two cases. They have good material. Yeah, that's what it means being a woman in Bali. Okay. Yeah, we. There are many single mothers, so you have to hustle to feed your children. Yes. What's the role for a man? For an Mbali woman, what makes her happy? Uh, what does a man men, got to do? A few men you know their roles. Most of them, yeah. they are so irresponsible. <laughs> yes, that's... I thought you were about to tell me they're all great guys, but they're irresponsible. They are there, but few. Okay. Mm, there are few. That is it. Very nice. Otherwise, it's a good city. Okay. All the best girls. Likewise. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Right, let's go grab some food. Yes. How are we doing, sweetheart? What are you selling? What's this one? The sauce. Yeah. What's this? Beef? Yes, it's a liver. A oh, liver? Yeah. Our liver's popular here. Everyone needs liver, yeah? Okay. I'm going to keep walking up. You'll, you'll get Maybe not, not sure yet. I'm yeah. going to have a walk around. Okay. Cheers, sweetheart. We've got all the different food stalls here. This looks delicious. Is it deep fried? Yes, yeah? deep fried chicken. Wow. How much is this? It is for 5k. 5k? Yes. Go on, I'll take one, please. Wait, <laughs> oh, that is good. <laughs> Joshua, are you married? I'm not married, no. Yeah, not married. No. Who's asking? <laughs> How old are you, Joshua? I'm 32. Huh? I'm 32. 32. 32. Yeah. Hey, now you have to get married. You I know. Grown now. I'm looking. Huh? I have to look. After what? I have to look. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm on, I'm on a mission to find one uh, or two. <laughs> you want to, which type do you want? Oh, I don't know. Depends. African or just whoever. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Because I want to give you my sister, that's why oh, I'm asking you. You can't offer me your sister. Yes, I have a nice sister. <laughs> I wouldn't you want what? to be offered up like that, I'd feel awkward. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a piece of meat. Misha, <laughs> thank you very much. No, thank you. Cheers, guys. Hello, hello, bye bye. Yes, I'll see your friend there. Hello. 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 Deep fried Mbali chicken. Oh, this looks good. Crispy golden orange. Oh, look at the red. The L shaped bone. You look at it properly, it looks like a boxing boot. The fried chicken golden boot. World boxing champion. Anyway, I'm gonna try this and get to sleep. Definitely a bit the worst part of the chicken. There's just no meat there, but this bit. Oh, look at that. That is top draw. Top draw chicken, I would say. Is there another bit of that? Look at that, I just squeeze it. Boy. The oil. Bizarre.